All right, what's going down? Ah, uh, where's the button? Uh, there we go. Okay. Yep, how's it going? Part three, second level. Grab some stuff out of the office. We've. Yep. For the record, I this is after commentary after the run because uh, commentating during the run either is really boring or you make a lot of mistakes. At least I do. Uh, it's just a lot easier to focus on getting the job done and making it more a little more entertaining this way. This next level I had to run 20 times, 30 times. It's a real pain in the ass because there's a lot that can go wrong, even if you do everything perfect. I was going for the non-lethal reputation. Um, about half of the time, the team outside of Castle Clinton will just start out shooting at the people Man, inside. And as soon as one of them dies... She'll say, you are not afraid to kill, even though, Way to go, you know, they don't even see me at all, so. Love the realism there. And there's a couple other little issues. I'll uh, point them out once, once they get there. But yeah, it was, it was a pain in the ass, but I got a good, I got a good run. Some multi tools. I always end up having more. Uh, I always end up with more multi tools than I do lock picks. Seems like a lot of times you can compensate with the computer. Whereas with a lock pick, you either have them or you don't. It's not always the Gun. case, but it's the case enough times to matter. My other concern is good allocating skill points is going to get a little a little dicey because there's going to be a lot of skip skill points being skipped. And a couple AUG upgrades will also be skipped. Uh, Jaime Reyes, uh, I'm going to opt for the kill switch rather than the AUG canister. Um, let's I believe engaging in combat with Gunther automatically is going to trigger, trigger combat. There may be a few other places that automatically trigger combat, but I said as far as the limits on the run would All be right. uh, Lead the way. when a solution present, presents itself to, to not have that happen, to take that option. What is it? Actually, I don't know, because killing him is pretty non killing him is pretty lethal even though you're not really killing him directly you're just saying a word and he blows up no so I talked to Anna as I, she runs by to kind of slow her down it seemed like if I could get in through the side here before she gets in position I had a better chance of the of the conflict not taking place you can also uh, run faster by constantly throwing that crate up with the strength hog turned on. I found going through this way saved me a lock pick since I didn't have to pick the vending machine. There's a couple other little tricks in here I found. I pull a knife on the little kid after I get the skill points from him and he opens one of the doors that requires a key. It saves me from having to run and get the, uh, the key. That box, you'll see what that's for yeah, later. There's the skill points for giving him some food. The key's over there, but it's a few extra seconds. Thanks, mister. Thank you. And that code is from the keypad that I just the bulk of the NSA interacted with from inside his chest. Interestingly enough, this box if you hit, I'm gonna open this door with a rocket, but if there's a box in front of the door, it muffles the sound a little bit, and I have a little bit more, I have a little bit more leeway with this guard. Um, otherwise, you only have a few, you have about a second 
where he's far enough away that instead of going straight for the alarm, he first investigates it and then decides that there's nothing. You can hear him running over now. And he actually does come into the doorway, but since I'm hacking the computer here, he doesn't actually... They don't engage people... They don't engage you when you're actively hacking. It's like you're not detected. Same thing with cameras, so... That may be exploitable later, we'll see. Now I have to get near the crate. And we'll grab an energy cell. Objective complete. Agent Navarre will describe your next assignment. And the rockets, Look for of course. Her front. I use flares here to distract the guard. I heard that was a mistake, uh, but it worked out. He ran around the, the long way. And I'm able to slip past here. Most of the time I did flares in this area to get him off course. There's two other guards patrolling, but the timing worked out and both both of them were in a di totally different place at this time. Sometimes there can be one in that hallway, but fortunately he's elsewhere. If you guys have any other, you know, advice or notice anything that can be improved, just still let me know. Rate, comment, subscribe. Just kidding. I, I, I don't care. I'm not a, I am not a whore, but I like to do it. I saw those guys in concert. Actually, I wasn't seeing them in concert. I was seeing uh, Black Eyed Peas, and they were, I don't even know what the name of that band is, but they're pretty funny. Look it up. Google's your friend. I'm not a whore, but I like to do it. Remember earlier when I shot the rocket launcher into the water? This is why. Two boxes. And just saved me a little bit of time. There's a little trick to jump out of the water, and... I don't have very good success with it, but I was able to get it after like one or two tries. So I kept the run. Maybe, maybe three tries. Maybe four tries. There we go. Oh, there comes Anna to tell me I'm soft on the you NSF. She gives you two EMP grenades. Good time. I run over there to start the start the firefight. You had a couple situations where the NSF won the firefight, and I had to be really, really. It took me a lot longer to get through this section, but this actually worked out pretty nice. And all the NSF guys were either really, really, really wounded or dead. And interestingly enough, when they're really, really wounded, even though they might see you, they don't uh, engage, they just run away, and that's considered a non-combat event. They just sort of run away, and the music doesn't change, so... Basically, they're... Uh, they become pacified at that point, they just run from everything. I'm going over the first hut here. There's a... Clear. Conveniently placed lockpick and multi-tool in a chest right here. Who's there? I think the log on us. Yeah, I see he's bleeding out. He doesn't. He doesn't care. It's the use of rockets that'll really allow me to to not need to upgrade either lock lockpick or electronics. So that'll be a nice savings of skill points. And I'm actually going to end it before I get too far into the subway. Basically, I'm just going to collect the... Uh, I'm going to collect the skill points here on the ledge, on the edge of the stairs. The NSF terrorists in the subway have threatened to blow up the platform. Watch for booby traps. The designers are geniuses. They, they created this level where you could avoid all these guys. <clears throat> I mean, give me a break. That's freaky cool. Alright, let's see if I find a good stopping point. Alright, this is a good stopping point. Alright, next time, finish up this level and move on to the next, which I can't think of right now. I want to say Bronx. Later. <laughs>